15 Things You Didn't Know About Samsung Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers and welcome to another exciting original video presented by Alux.com. Today we're talking about one of the most successful cell phone manufacturers in the world and the largest and most valuable South Korean conglomerate, which is none other than Samsung. Whether you're an Apple fan or a dedicated Android user, you have to respect the success of this dominant conglomerate that offers not only some of the best cell phones in the industry, but also a variety of other electronic, life insurance, security, transportation, and other products too. The company had humble beginnings in 1938, when it was established by Lee Byung-chul. What started as primarily a grocery store expanded into various sectors, eventually becoming known as the Samsung Group. Samsung was able to read the market and determine what avenues could be most advantageous. This is what led them to focus heavily on electronics, starting in the late 1960s with their first electronic product being a black and white television. Samsung became a dominant player in the market when they started developing their smartphone technology. They were the first to develop wireless charging phones, and they continued to innovate, applying for nearly 10,000 patents annually. Samsung is a significant South Korean company. Its affiliate companies produce about a fifth of South Korea's total exports, and the revenue is regularly about 17% of Korea's total GDP. Hey Luxor, this company is proof that you can take a humble company and build it into a multi-billion dollar corporation. If you're new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. Now that we've gone over the background, let's look at the 15 things you didn't know about Samsung. Number 1. The name Samsung means three stars. Samsung gets its name from a combination of two Korean words, Sam, which means three, and Sung, which means stars. The name was chosen by the founder of the company because he thought the name embodied power and longevity. In the Korean language, three is a representation of something big and powerful, and the founder envisioned his company as growing to be big, powerful, and as long-lasting as the stars. Number 2. Samsung owns over 100,000 patents worldwide. Samsung was granted the most U.S. patents out of any company in 2016. They overtook IBM, who were granted the most in 2015. Samsung was granted 8,551 patents in 2016, compared to IBM's 8,062. Samsung received more than double the patents of LG, Google, Microsoft, and Apple. Samsung has an incredible 100,000-plus patents worldwide. Number 3. Samsung donates over $100 million per year to its nonprofit medical charity. Samsung is an incredibly charitable company, and one of their main charitable endeavors is the Samsung Medical Center, which is a nonprofit healthcare provider that consists of several medical facilities, including the largest cancer center in Asia, which is the Samsung Cancer Center in Seoul, South Korea. They donate over $100 million every year to these medical centers. Number 4. Samsung originated as a trading company that specialized in noodles. When Lee Byung-chul established Samsung in 1938, it was a small trading company that specialized in noodles, dried fish, and local grocery items. The company later expanded into insurance, securities, and retail. They didn't enter the field of electronics until the late 1960s, with the boom of television and the development of other technologies. Number 5. The family that owns Samsung is the richest in South Korea The Jaeyoung family is the wealthiest family in all of South Korea, thanks to the tremendous success of the Samsung company. The family is worth $16.8 billion, which is more than twice as much as South Korea's second richest family, which is worth about $6.7 billion. Number 6. Samsung manufactured aircraft from the 1980s to the 1990s Samsung has had their hands in a number of different industries, but you might be surprised to learn they actually manufactured aircraft for over 10 years. Korea Aerospace Industries was a joint venture between Samsung Aerospace, Daewoo Heavy Industries, and the Hyundai Space and Aircraft Company. And together, they developed and sold a few models of aircraft from the 80s to the 90s. Although Samsung is no longer a part of this venture, they still manufacture aircraft engines and gas turbines. 
Number 7. Apple Sued Samsung for $2.5 Billion In 2012, Apple sued Samsung for $2.5 billion for allegedly violating six of its patents on smartphone technology. The lawsuit ended in a jury, and nine American jurors ruled that Samsung had to pay Apple $1.05 billion in damages. However, a South Korean court ruled that both companies infringed on each other's patents, but no damages were awarded to either side. Apple also sought to block the sale of eight Samsung phones, but they were unsuccessful. Number 8. Several celebrity endorsers of Samsung have been caught using iPhones Samsung has many celebrities that they have paid millions to endorse their phones, including LeBron James, Jessica Alba, Adam Levine, Alicia Keys, Ellen DeGeneres, and Oprah Winfrey. However, every celebrity I just mentioned has outed themselves in one way or another for being an iPhone user. For example, Adam Levine was paid to endorse Samsung at the launch event for the Galaxy Note 4 where he even announced that there should be a ceremonial iPhone burning. However, not too long after, he tweeted from his iPhone about a visit to the Ellen DeGeneres show, and several people pointed out the hypocrisy. The tweet was removed shortly after, but the truth was already out there. Number 9. The CEO of Samsung burned $50 million in product in one day in the early 1990s, Samsung CEO Kun Hee Lee became disgusted with what he saw as the low-quality products of the company. He gathered 2,000 workers and a massive stock of hardware in the yard of one of his factories, and he lit a massive bonfire and started burning a huge amount of products, including phones, TVs, and fax machines. An estimated $50 million worth of product was burned on that day in 1995. From then on, Samsung's top priority has been quality. Number 10. Samsung Invested in FUBU FUBU is a well-known brand developed by the self-made millionaire Damon John. It was established in 1992, and Samsung helped the brand launch into popularity with its investment in 1995. Samsung actually connected with FUBU after Damon's mother placed an ad in the New York Times looking for backers. When Samsung invested in FUBU, they would ultimately underwrite their manufacturing, contributing greatly to the company's success. If you want to learn more interesting facts about Damon John, click in the upper right hand corner to watch our video of 15 things you didn't know about Damon John. Number 11. Samsung is partially responsible for the tallest building in the world. The Burj Khalifa is the tallest building in the world, measuring 829.8 meters, or 2,722 feet. The building is located in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates and was completed in 2009. The primary contractor of the building was Samsung C&T of South Korea. Samsung C&T is a division of the Samsung parent company that focuses on global engineering and construction projects. Number 12. Samsung spends billions every year in marketing and advertising. Obviously, every successful company has to budget a substantial sum for marketing and advertising, but Samsung seems to take things to another level. For example, in 2013 alone, Samsung spent around $4 billion in advertising in addition to another $5 billion that was spent on general marketing. Number 13. Samsung is Apple's top supplier for iPhone components. From the very beginning of the iPhone, Samsung has been one of the top suppliers of iPhone components. In 2017, Samsung was the sole supplier for OLED panels that allow the iPhone to have a curved screen. Samsung is also the top supplier of NAND flash memory chips to all cell phone manufacturers, including Apple. Samsung also controls 60% of the DRAM memory chip market, and Apple sources these chips from Samsung as well. Number 14. The head of Samsung was arrested in 2017. Lee Jae-yong, the 48-year-old billionaire heir to the Samsung fortune, was arrested in February of 2017. Lee was accused of giving bribes amounting to $36 million to South Korean President Park Geun-hye, who was later impeached for a corruption scandal. It was said the bribes were given to win government favors, including the approval of a controversial merger. Lee was also accused of embezzlement, hiding assets overseas, and lying under oath. He is now facing a high-profile trial. Number 15. It is a federal crime to bring a Samsung Galaxy Note 7 onto an airplane. By now, you definitely have heard stories about the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 spontaneously combusting, and you may have even seen the videos on YouTube. 
This is a risk that the Federal Aviation Administration takes seriously. They have banned all Galaxy Note 7s from being carried onto a plane in a person's pocket, in carry-on baggage, in checked baggage, or as cargo. If you decide to risk it and get caught with a Note 7 on an airplane, you could face a fine up to $179,933 per infraction and up to 10 years imprisonment. Now that you've learned more about Samsung, do you think they'll be able to continue to compete with Apple long term? Let us know what you think in the comments. Still here? Thanks for sticking around. Here's a bonus fact just for you. Samsung started diving into the cell phone business super early in 1996 when they introduced a car phone. However, the product was not very popular. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.